Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say, if you like this content, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want a video of your own, make sure to commission me either when I'm live on YouTube, or you can DM me through my public Discord server. Anyway, let me not take up your time. Enjoy the video. Hmm. Now what is that pink bastard doing today? Hmm. There's my new employee! Come in! I'm not doing anything right now. So, how has your days been hanging out with Val? I know sometimes he can be a little bit of a hassle to work with. So, has he proven anything towards you? Has he done anything to you? <laughs> really? Huh. You know, I thought you would be a little bit smarter than that to sign a contract with him. You you do you do know what that means, right? <sighs> Never mind. So, how's, uh, scouting been? Have you found any good information about Alistair or anybody at that hotel? Uh-huh. Same old, same old, huh? <sighs> You know, it's been a weird few days as of recently. Yeah, there has been some strange activity going around. From what I see in the cameras and whatnot, people are getting more and more frightened about the uh, exterminations. Because they're getting pushed forward. Yeah, if they were just stay inside, they wouldn't be able to, like, be targeted. But, people down here are kind of dumb. So, they always end up getting themselves killed. If you just stay inside, like I do, during those that day, specifically, just a day, you just stay inside for once, you won't get killed. What they usually do is go after the more populated places in hell. And since the pride ring is more populated than anything, they usually go after the cities and towns that are filled with the homeless people and, uh, well, more people in general. They kind of leave us big people out of it sometimes, unless we actually are interfering. Mm-hmm. But, I do have an idea. You see, I am at the at front of most technology here down in hell. And I have contact with most of the overlords here as well. Although they don't see us as overlords, but we're very close to becoming one of them as well. Hell, I think we are overlords at this point. So, here is where you come into plan. You see, I don't really have much people out there getting the stuff that I need. I need to get my weaponry and also all sorts of technology so I can keep selling them at a far larger price than whatever the other bitch is selling. So, this is where I need you to go meet that weapons dealer overlord so you can pick up my shipments, bring them back to me, and then I can make them better. Plagiarism? Huh. Who gives a shit? It's hell. 
I don't think anybody cares about plagiarism at this point. If they do, we will just send people over there to kill them. <laughs> oh, you think plagiarism is a thing down here. You're funny. You're very funny. But besides that, I still need you to find out what Alistair is doing with Hell's Princess as well. I still don't have enough information about him and the things that he could do. So if you could still talk to him and get information, that'd be very nice. What type of information that I need now? Well, I got the basic stuff of where he goes, you know, the locations and whatnot, where he usually goes, Taylor, uh, Cannibal Town, all sorts of things like that. But I still don't know the source of his power. I don't know how he gets the attention of all these people when he does his radio broadcasts. It blocks my signal of the televisions around this damn ring. It's something to do with that tower, I swear to it. So, I think I need somebody like you to try to go up to that tower and destroy everything inside. So, once that his equipment for his radio broadcasts are done and gone, I'll be able to broadcast more of my television shows and also make sure more of the people get brainwashed and be able to buy most of my products and have them on our side. Well, I need money to be able to buy all these weapons and whatnot for the extermination, and I need to protect all my people as well, including you. And I think, hold on, let me, let me check something real quick. Uh-huh. Oh. Well, I didn't know that. <laughs> there is going to be the new voting for Overlord soon. So, I need more people to vote for the Vs to become new Overlords. Yes, well, we're not really registered as an overlord yet. There's a whole voting system that has to go through first. And once the whole voting system goes through, the person with the most votes, or the team with the most votes, become new overlords. And they get a percentage of the land in the pride ring. And although me, Val, and Velvet already have a good percentage of this help hole I need more we all need more so I most likely am going to make a broadcast about the votings and hopefully making people brainwashed enough to actually vote for us and I need you to make sure that the all the channels inside of that tacky hotel are changed to the actual broadcasting channels. And I know Alistair is not a fan of television, so he'll be most likely trying to tinker with all the technology that is around the hotel. So I need you to be very, very, very careful about doing this stuff. Because if you get caught, well, there goes my inside man. Mm-hmm. Oh, and also, I need you to pick up some uh, new fabrics and whatnot. Velvet's been driving me insane with uh, products and whatnot that Valentino has recently ripped up because of he got pissy at some clients. Yeah, I need more of Velvet's patterns and whatnot shipped over to her side of the tower. If you could do that for me, that will be great. 
Alright, I know I can trust you. And I know you can trust me as well. After all, you're signed a contract with me. Remember that. Yeah, well... Look, I know you also signed a contract with Val, but I think my contract's a little bit more important than Valentino's. I mean, what does he even offer for you? No. Okay, uh, he, has, he offered you a place to stay in the tower. I mean, yeah, but... <laughs> Alright, I get it. Just... I know, I know. Listen. Val's been doing very nice things for you. But, you're still under contract with me. So, I'm going to need you to concentrate. Get the things that I told you to get, alright? And also meet with that weapons dealer overlord bitch that I have to deal with. So I can get my weapons and sort, alright? Alright. Now, if you can please just get out of here. I have very important things I have to look over. Alright, I'll call you when I need you.